So my first impression of Riga is very different to what I expected. Okay, so this is the outfit which I'm trying to go for for today. So I just got this at an op shop and this one was Politics, which is an Australian brand. So we're going to head into Old Town now, guys. Um, so we haven't really checked out much of Old Town yet because we've been so busy working. Also need to try to find a doctor as well too because when you're traveling, things always pop up and you know, I've been feeling a bit ill. So I probably just, just in case should go see a doctor. Um, it's always a bit trickier when you're overseas with travel insurance, making sure to find the right doctor and all that. So it's always a bit of a hassle. So I've got to try to get that done because health is always number one. Hello Bay Squad! Today we're gonna finally go out and see Riga. Oh, I always had this some sort of feeling that I would like those Baltic cities. So I'm really intrigued. Um, judging by the architecture, while I was walking towards this hotel, the look of it was pretty strange. Very different to Lithuania or Poland or Czech. I can't wait to see more. Right now, it's slightly snowing, but not so much, which kind of gives us great vibes too, because I really like snow. One annoying thing though, it's gonna be extremely cold. So I've got my Uniqlo jacket ready. Um, I think Nick is ready too. I'm ready with my Uniqlo as well. This isn't sponsored by Uniqlo. That building is super high. Look at that. One thing I automatically noticed here in Riga is that the roads are big. It's just good for you know anyone, even as a traveler. We had to carry our heavy and massive suitcases, and it was really good because the road itself is like, look. That's true. It's very like easily paved. Um, the update on our suitcases. Rachel's suitcase is about to go. The wheel is like flimsy as. I reckon it might not even make it to the next bus. So we'll see. You? It's not because of me. People seem to wear far jackets a lot, regardless of their ages. Like I've seen young or old people wear really thick. I guess it might be a fall, might be real. Anyway, um, I see that a lot and with the hoods as well. This area's got like little, um, market. little market area just behind us, pretty cool. And also it's got like a outdoor restaurant just behind me there, if you can see. Uh, first impression is pretty cool. I love the wide open spaces you have in some of these European cities and the, they have the whole concept of having a square. So there's like a lot of space, which doesn't really exist in Australia. I'm sorry to ruin the view guys. Even the construction sign, you know, the red and white. It looks kind of cool. Look at that. Yeah, even the construction zones look cool. What is that? I don't know, let's have a look. Okay, Carbonara. Carbonara 650 looks nice too. Looks like here at 7 euros, you can get a meal, good meal I think. Which is pretty good, that's probably about $13, maybe less. Yeah. 13 Australian dollars. Everything here for us like has to be less than 4 euros to make us say, oh it's cheap. That's true, we're cheapskates so it has to be pretty damn low for us to say it's cheap. So it's not cheap for us, but it's pretty cheap. That's 5 euros, mate. hot dog and crispy onions. Cheap? Latvian beef sausage. Mm. Mm, that could be that could be one of the goes, I reckon. Pizzas and pastas. Oh, look at that. That soup looks really nice. Oh, it's coriander. Oh no. I don't know if you've heard of that, but they're everywhere. The, these little convenience stores. And I think, I think it must be Latvian because I've seen it in Lithuania as well too. And I think in Poland as well, but there's a lot of them here. So maybe Narvison is Latvian. Help us out if you're Latvian. Let us know if Narvison is a Latvian company. Oh, another double coffee. This place seems to be a franchise too. Happy anniversary. <laughs> it feels like that. Look at that. 
Do, do, do. It's really nice. It's got like, it feels like you're just kind of trapped underground. It's with the exposed brick and everything. It's really cool. Our first dine in in Latvia is gonna be pasta. This morning we had some Latvian dishes that is like, I think, smoked cold and some salmon. So good. I didn't expect smoked cold can be even better than salmon. Anyway, today we're gonna just relax and have some pasta. Looks amazing what Looks you've got there. Really yummy. Fresh. Carbonara right here. Somebody's already eating. I'm already eating. Looks yummy. Mm. Pesto pasta? Mmm. It's so French. Um, so French. It's so fresh and um, authentic tasting. Mm. We just came back from our first day in Riga. It was really cool, guys. Uh, we did a bit of shopping too, so I'll show you what we got. I got this pretty cool looking beer. It's an amber lager. And so that costs about $1, one Australian dollar. So it was, I think, 69 euro. We got ourselves some chips. I think it was uh, one euro or something, one euro 60 or something like that. We got these little snacks. Let me know what they're they like called. Sweets. Look, I'll show you. I don't know what they are, but they look so yummy, so I wanted to get them. We got water, boring water. One funny thing about water, though, is you can never tell if it's carbonated or not. And even this one, I'm hoping it's not carbonated, just because carbonated water is just not really... Not our know. thing. It's not our thing, but it's also, it's not very Australian thing, too. Oh, we also got these. Oh my God. We actually tried these yesterday night. They're these waffles and they are amazing. <laughs> I really, really like them. They're so yummy. And they're like, they weigh a lot. Like there's, there's a lot to this waffle. And we got some boring fruit. That's Rachel's fruit. That's actually, it's really healthy, but it's a bit boring. Um, all up, that came to 4.73 euro. So pretty good. Probably, I don't know, about seven Australian dollars or something like that. Hmm, I was just having a look at those little snacks. I think it cost 56 euro. So my first impression of Riga is very different to what I expected. The buildings are so, so different, unique. I feel so thankful for ourselves to come here during this Christmas season, even though it's a shivering cold, it's so cold. Uh, but I get to see all these like uh, Christmas decorations throughout Riga. This city has only like half a million, but then I feel like it's bigger than it is because just so many people walking around. I briefly read up that they've got like um, little mini buses that actually just run a certain route, but anyone can kind of hop on, hop off kind of thing. So I'm not too sure how that works. We might try to catch one while we're here in Riga. It seems a bit interesting. Um, there's a lot of like nice old school looking trams, some newer looking ones too. They've got trolley buses, regular buses. So seems to be a lot going on in their public transport as well for such a small city too. So far we've been lucky. We're just so close to the city center. We just walked everywhere, but soon we'll be heading a bit further out. So we'll be checking out their public transport as well. Thanks he's for watching. We'll make sure to see you in the next video. Subscribe for more content like this and give us a like. Bye guys.